This short film is about a castle which dominates all castles in Norfolk. Castle Acre gives its name to the village which has links with the Norman Earls of Surrey. Little is known about the site before the Norman conquest, but I have recently read that the castle was originally a late Saxon hall with modest defences held by a Saxon thane called Tolkien. The castle is noted in the Doomsday Survey of 1086. From the Doomsday Survey we can learn the site formed part of the Norfolk estate of William de Warren. William de Warren family home was in Normandy. There Warren got to know the young Duke William and he and his men formed part of the Duke's invasion force in the late summer of 1066. The Norman triumph was the Battle of Hastings which meant rich rewards for those who had risked their lives in battle. William de Warren was given and acquired lands in over a dozen counties and as an especially trusted supporter of a king was given the rape of Lewis Sussex. One of the six divisions of the county of Sussex which straddled one of the main routes from Normandy to the heart of England. Lewis was just to remain the Warren chief seat and site of what was probably the most powerful castle for centres of state elsewhere in England. Each needed a residence to act as a focus and protector to be the seat of rent collection and to provide accommodation suitable for a magnet of the realm. After William de Warren the first died, his son, another William, became one of Henry's most loyal supporters, serving the king in a number of administrative and military capabilities. On both sides of the channel, as well as being a great benefactor to the church. But by the time 1147, all the sons had died, leaving his only daughter to rule, Isabella. From 1147 to 1347, the castle has been passed through many owners until it came back to another warren who was able to repossess the estate. On his death in 1347, the castle was passed to his nephew Richard, Earl of Arundel. Castle Acres declined, seems to have begun under the last warren, whose unsettled life left no time for the Norfolk estate. For 15 years the castle was held by absenteeism, who would have had little interest in maintaining it. Castle Wall Acre was granted finally to Thomas Mulberry, Duke of Norfolk. Two years later, on the occasion of Henry VIII, the new king restored the castle and its lands to Thomas Fitzland. A survey of a castle in 1397 suggests that by then it was probably derelict. In 1558 Thomas Howard, the fourth Duke of Norfolk, sold Castle Acre and the manors of Milham and Beeston to the powerful merchant and royal agent of Antwerp, 
Sir Thomas Grisham in 1583. Dame Anne Grisham sold Castle Acre to Thomas Cecil, eldest son of Queen Elizabeth I, Lord High Treasurer. In 1615, Sir Edward Coke spent the sum of £60 repairing the castle ruins. This could be one of the earliest instances of con conservation work on a secular ruin by a private individual. The castle remained the possession of his descendants and in 1971 the Earl of Leicester placed it in the guardianship of the Department of the Environment. Since 1984, it has been looked after by English heritage. I highly recommend coming to this area of Norfolk and viewing the priory and the castle and the village, which is most delightful.